Hey friends, Melinda here. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I post effective workouts so we can sweat, sculpt, burn, and transform together. If you're new here, make sure that you consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to hit the bell notification to be notified on all of my latest news and workouts. Today, I'm bringing you a 15-minute ballet-inspired lower body series focused on building strong, lean legs through graceful yet powerful movements. You don't need any equipment today, so let's go ahead and grab our mats and get moving. Before we get started, I wanted to give a quick shout out to my online fitness studio at embodiment360.com. I'm incredibly thrilled to offer a monthly subscription service where you can enjoy access to my entire video library, including a variety of workout lengths and styles. From low impact cardio, dance and Pilates inspired sculpt, as well as strength and flexibility training. I'd love for you guys to come by and try out the free trial with absolutely no commitment. Hope to sweat and sculpt with you all soon over at embodiment360.com. All right guys, so we are gonna start in a side kneeling position. Take your left palm down to the earth directly underneath your shoulder. Lift up through that waistband, hand to hip. You're gonna take a double pulse, lift. Pulse, lift and lower. We take a double pulse at the top, slowly control it down, really elongating the toe tip away from the body here. Depress the shoulder down. If you need to, you can always double up your mat beneath you to give you a little bit more support for your wrist. You could also come to a fist if that feels better in your body. We pulse and lift. Take it up. Last one, take a bottom up forward, extend and lengthen. So if you can't touch the leg here, just try to reach as far as you can forward with that leg. Each time we're working on that hamstring flexibility, we're working on hip mobility here. Breathe, exhale, up and out of the shoulder, press, inhale, Exhale, give me one last one right there. Reach and press. Now slowly coming down to our hip. We're going to go into 90 degree leg lifts. We're lifting up, down, press. We lift, control. So we're taking that shin parallel to the earth. We lift and lower. So coming up with control, lowering with control. Pushing the shoulder down. No, no sinking here, up, up, down. We lift, you're gonna get that booty working and fired up right away, and press. Go four, working the outer thigh as well. Lift, give me little tiny pulses, one inch pulses. So it's like you've got a little string, and we lift and lower. Up, down, up, down. Go for four, and three, two, Last one, beautiful, elongate the legs beneath you, coming down all the way, propping up onto the forearm from here, on the tricep, taking it up and down. So we've got that passe, drawing up and down. We take it up and down. So the knee is pressing up to the ceiling. We've got this right palm in front of us to brace the body. Our hips are nice and square, so that right hip bone is on top of the left. Inhale and exhale, keeping our core nice, strong. So they're not wavering in the pelvis, really strong through the low abdominals here. Up and press, one more, lift and lower. Take that batma, lift it up. Flex and squeeze it down. So quickly lift and then slowly control it down. Anchor down through the bottom foot. So anchor down through that foot to brace the body here up for that big movement of the leg up and slowly controlling it down. Heel is pressing forward. Shine your inner thigh towards your device, towards me, lift. Squeeze it down, beautiful work. Up and out in four, three, two. Last one from here, going into a parallel passe. 
open it up, bring it back through center, slowly control down, pull the knee up, we open press, knee goes forward, and we press back down, take it up, we open the knee wide, knee goes forward, take it down, lift up with control, open the knee to the ceiling, bring it back into internal rotation, slowly bring it down, take it up, slow controlled graceful movements here, nice fluidity, go for four, three, two, last one, come up to sideline position, front attitude, extend back, front attitude, sweep, extend, lengthen, so this beautiful sweeping motion with the leg, there's a gentle rock happening through the upper body as your chest goes to a little diagonal, as you extend it on the back diagonal, up, getting a little bit of oblique work in here as we draw the knee into the chest, core active, inhale, exhale it out in four, three, two, last one, hold, pause, lift, little micro pulses, inhale, exhale for four, three, two, last one, take that leg over, and you can prop yourself up, lifted or down, we pulse three times, we take it up, up, down. So if this is uncomfortable, you can always take the leg behind you and just do a basic lift, 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 and lower. Take it up, up, working the adductor here. Take it up, 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 lift and press. It's not gonna go high, that's okay. Micro movements. Working those small accessory muscles here. Take it up, up, up. Four, three, two, last one right here. We're gonna take it up into an inner thigh sweep. And then we're gonna take it into a développé. We don't have to use the arm on this one just yet. Inner thigh lift and press. So I'm coming to the meaty part of the cheek for the inner thigh lift. And then reach that développé up. Inhale, press. Try to make this as seamless as possible. I know that it's challenging. Up and out of the waistband for four, three, two. Now we have that little arm reach. We go, pulse. Again, on the meaty part of the cheek, up and out. Press eight, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, last one. Beautiful. Let's take it up and over to the opposite side. So we've got the whole other side to do. From here, sideline position, we reach. You've got that pulse from here. Lift, lift, and lower. Lift, lift. If you wanna make it more challenging, you can always take that arm lifted the entire time, but I'll take it on the hip for this exercise. Always options to amplify or modify. Know your body and know where you need to back off and know where you need to challenge. Lift, press, lift, last one, hold it, bottom off forward, and press, exhale. So we're not only strengthening powerful legs here. We're also getting mobility within the lower body, working on our flexibility here. Inhale, exhale. In for four, three, two. Beautiful work coming down to the side body in 90 degrees with those legs. We lift and lower up and down, propped up on the forearm, and press. I want you to think like you've got a resistance band around the outer thighs, and resisting on the way up, and resisting on the way down. 
we lift and we lower. Inhale and exhale it out. It's so really oxygenating the muscles with our breathing the entire time, fueling our bodies up. Lift and lower. Let's hold it. Let's pulse it. Up, press, lift, lift. These small, little tiny movements work the body so good. In four, and three, and two. Last one. Extend those legs out. We're going to take it into that passe drive up and press. We're challenging our body to move differently, to work differently, so that we find that change within the body. Sculpting the body in a different manner. Knee up to the ceiling, lower it down, especially with these dance-inspired workouts. And press. Knee up to the ceiling, heel pressing forward, slow and controlled. I like to think like a permanent marker is on the toe tip and you're drawing a line up the leg, up the calf, up to the knee, and then lowering down with control. In four, three, two, bat ma, point, and then flex. So it's a quick lift and lower. Keeping the hip bones stacked here. Press. Inhale and exhale. This big sweeping motion with the leg up to the ceiling. And then we're working those adductors, those inner thighs, squeeze them together on the way down. Gorgeous work. Press. Elongating the toe tip away from the body and then push away. You've got one more. Make it count. Lift and squeeze. Parallel the leg. Open it up. Turned in passe. Slowly come down. Knee goes forward. Knee draws up to the ceiling. Bring it back through center. Slowly come down. Use this top arm to brace you. Use your core to stabilize you as well here. That core is always turned on. I know I talk about it a lot, but it is so vital through these exercises. Inhale, exhale, press, squeeze it back down. You've got one more. Lift, open it up, press. Coming through center, you've got that front attitude. Big sweeping motion to the back. Inhale, exhale, elongate back corner. Remember, we're getting some work through the obliques as we drive the knee up in towards the tricep. Little press down with the chest. Inhale, exhale, sweep. Now, can you elongate and squeeze the derriere to the back as you go into that back extension? In four, three, two, last one. You're gonna hold that last one. Let's pulse. Up and squeeze. Up and out. Chest is to a little diagonal to your mat. Press. In four, three, to last one, coming all the way down, propping up, cross it over. We're going lift, up, up, triple pulse. Take it up, up, up. Remember if this feels uncomfortable with the top leg over, you can always take it behind you and take it into a basic inner thigh pulse. Take it lift, lift, lift. It's just dependent on what works for you and your body. Everyone is different. So we can have a lot of different variations, a lot of progressions, a lot of modifications. You know your body. Press. Four. Three. Two. You've got that inner thigh sweep coming up right here. You've got that lift. And we double pay up. On the meaty part of the cheek. Lift and lengthen. 
up. Graceful movements here, but powerful movements. Getting stronger. Inhale and exhale. Up and out of the shoulder. Get that knee high up into your shoulder joint as much as you can. Lift. Press. Now you've got those pulses right here. Pulse. Up and press. Not on the hip bone. On the cheek. Press it for eight, seven, six, five, in four, three, two, last one. Beautiful. Let's come into a butterfly stretch from here. So we're going to open out soles of the feet, come together, open the knees out wide, take your right palm behind you, put gentle pressure on your left inner thigh by depressing the opposite leg here. Inhale. Exhale it out in four, three, two, last one. Take it to the opposing side here. Gentle inner thigh stretch. Inhale, exhale, hold and breathe for four, three, two, last one. Take your left leg underneath your right crisscross position. Walk the fingertips out. Sink the gluteals down into your mat. Really nice stretch running through your hips and your gluteals. Holding here for four, three, two. Last one, slowly take it up. You've got that opposite side and we're almost done with those stretches. Sink the gluteals to the hips. Walk those fingertips out. Pressing both sits bones down into the earth here, holding, walking fingertips out a little bit further for four, three, two, last one. Come up through center right here. Take a breath, inhale, and then exhale it out. If you're looking for more dance and Pilates inspired workouts, be sure to check out my online studio where I offer a variety of workout lengths and styles to keep you feeling strong, fit, and fierce. Head on over to embodiment360.com today to start your free trial. Awesome work today, friends, and I hope to sculpt it out with you soon again.